Amen. Amen. I, I, oh, I want to know you so well. We thank God, amen, for being in this revival, for what the Lord is doing. Amen. Is, amen. Nowadays, to have a two weeks revival is a miracle. Come on, somebody. Amen. So you know it's got to be God, amen, that moves in the revival to continue. Here. Amen. God is renewing, restoring, and I know that, amen. Amen. They're just great speakers on the line. Amen. We've heard about uh, some of them and we thank God. Amen. Is there a word from the Lord? Amen. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. And God is speaking nowadays. We thank God. Amen. We want to thank God for it. Lady Johnson. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Heaven smile upon you is my prayer. Amen. And then we want to thank God for our bishop. Bishop Hightower, amen. We thank God for our bishop tonight, amen. I wouldn't be on this line if it wasn't for him, amen, allowing me to be here. And we thank God, amen, for you. Thank God for Mother Lee, amen, amen. We consider her just a part of us, and we praise God for her, amen. We thank God. I thank God for my wife, amen, amen, of 41 years. 41 years that we've been together in, in marriage. God is good. Amen. It's really been about 46 years. Amen. Almost going on 50. Amen. That we've been together. Amen. In high school. But God is good. Amen. We thank him tonight. Amen. For all that he's doing. Amen. And we're just looking for the Lord to bless us tonight. Amen. Only God can send a word that we need tonight. Amen. And we're leaning on him and trusting him. Amen. And I'm praying that the Lord will use my mouth, my mind, my thoughts, amen, my tongue, amen, to bring a word tonight. Amen. Um, amen. I've been asked to sing a little song, so I'm going to sing. Amen. Thank God for our songsters tonight. Amen. For all of you. Amen. I do a little singing myself. So, amen. I thank God. Amen. Amen. Though the storm keep on raging in my life. I've got an anchor in the Lord. Amen. So, amen. Here we go. Though the storm keep on raging in my life, and sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day. Still that hope that lies within is reassured. As I keep my eye upon that distant shore, I know he'll lead me safely to that blessed place he has and if the storm don't cease, and if the wind keep on blowing in my life, my soul has been anchor in the Lord. Though the storm keep on raging in my life, and sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day still that hope that lies within is reassured as i keep my eye upon that distant shore i know he'll lead me safely to that blessed place he had prepared and if the storm don't cease and if the wind 
keep on growing in life. So in the Lord. Oh, 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 I realize life we're gonna be tossed by the wave and the currents that seem so fierce. But in the word of God, I got an anchor. It keep me steadfast, unmovable, despite the tide. But if the storms don't cease, and if the wind keep on blowing in my life, my soul has been anchored in the Lord. Oh, somebody ought to give him praise. Amen. Amen. Tonight, amen. It's your soul been anchored in the Lord. Amen. If we should need the Lord, we show sure up need him now. Can you say amen? We well, thank God tonight in the midst of pandemic, in the midst of, amen, of uh, the protesters and death and dying. Amen. We need the Lord. Amen. We need him. We need an anchor. Amen. With all of this going on in our nation and in our world. Amen. But I want you to know that this day did not catch God by surprise. Hallelujah. Amen. God already know about it. Amen. God already seen it because he is the good shepherd. And we thank God tonight. Amen. We thank God for a revival tonight. Amen. And we talked about that last week. Revival, high alert. Somebody say revival, high alert. And so revival is the improvement in the condition or strength of something. And so tonight we're looking for the Lord, amen, to improve our condition, amen, and give us more strength. We thank God tonight. High alert is the attentive, awake, observant, vigilant, watchful, full readiness, complete readiness, maximized alert. Can you say amen? And so I want you to know the church is on alert. Come on, somebody. Somebody said the church is on alert. Amen. We need to be revived and we need to be on high alert. Can you say amen? Uh, the Longhorn amen. Dictionary of Complete English declares a high alert, a situation in which people are told to be ready because there's a strong possibility of an attack or something dangerous happening, amen, in a place. Amen, I wanna let you know, there's a strong bad possibility that something is happening, come on somebody. And we need to be on high alert. Somebody say high alert, amen. And we're on high alert, and if there's some intelligence out there, some sources that you've picked up and increased chatter from potential terror cells, amen, in recent days. I wanna let you know that Amen, the enemy is out there. Amen, for we walk we are not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen, there's a terror cell out there trying to tear us down, trying to tear the church down. But I want to let you know, we are on high alert tonight. Amen, because we're watching as well as praying. Come on, somebody. Amen, we're not doing it with guns and knives. Amen, but we thank God for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. Come on, somebody. But be strong in the law and in the power of his might tonight. Come on, somebody. Amen, gird yourself. Get ready. Come on, somebody. Amen. Because the Lord is on our side. Amen. We thank God. And we just wanted to bring those definitions out tonight. And I want you to look at with me tonight. Amen. I won't be before you long. God. That's not my plan. Amen. But in Joshua, amen, the first chapter of Joshua, 
beginning with verse number one. And we're going to read down to verse number nine. Oh, Just a beautiful. little bit of reading. Then we'll skip, amen, and go for, to Joshua 3, 7, and 8. Amen. And then we'll go to uh, Joshua 6, amen, and 1, or 6 and 20. Amen. And we're going to give you the topic in just a few moments. Amen. Look at Joshua 1. Amen. The first chapter, verse number 1. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, and Moses minister, saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise and go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, and under the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the soles of your feet shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness of this Lebanon, even to the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, unto the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shall thou divide an inheritance in the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate thereon day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Can you say amen? Amen. There's another word I'm going to read. But I want you to know, amen, it says reset of your mindset. Somebody ought to say, reset of your mindset. Amen. And so, amen, we got to have a reset of our mindset. Can you say amen? Amen. The word reset means to set again, to reset an alarm clock, to reset some a broken bone, to set, adjust, or fix in a new or different way, to reset to reset priorities and to reset prices. That's what reset means. And mindset is the established set of attitudes held by someone. The noun mindset was first used in 1930 to mean habits of the mind formed by previous experiences. Can you say amen? Look at somebody say reset of your mindset. Amen. Maybe, amen, you've had some experiences and maybe some things that happened in your life. And now you've got a certain mindset when things begin to happen in your life. But God is calling us to reset our mindset. Can you say amen? I want you to know, in order to really see the end of a thing, we got to see, amen, to see the beginning of a thing, we got to see the end of a thing. Can you say amen? And so tonight, we're going to look at Joshua Amen, Joshua, amen, the warrior, Joshua, the fighter, amen, in, in Joshua 23, 23, look at that with me, 23 and 14. Here's what he says. Joshua, this is at the end of the chapter, I want you to understand. So we're going to the end, and then we're coming back to the beginning. Come on, somebody. Isn't that like God? He takes us all the way to the end, and then he takes, brings us back to the beginning, and he says, this is what I'm going to do for you, but you got to go through. <laughs> you got to start at one point, but you got to go through. Sometimes he don't tell us how we got to go through, but he tells us what we're going to. 
Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. God has spoken some things in your life, in my life, and he's promised some stuff, and he's already shown us where he's going to take us to. But he didn't tell, tell us what we had to go through. Can you say amen? And so now, amen, because sometimes we run into different things, amen, we get discouraged because we saw the end, but we didn't see the through. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen, but God is saying, if I told you I'm going to do something, it's going to be done. I am going to bring you through. Amen. He may tell me I got to go to Europe, but he don't tell me whether I got to ride, ride a ship a plane, a boat, amen. He don't tell me I have to run a helicopter. He don't tell me that sometimes it might get a little challenging, but he told me that I'm going to go to Europe. And all I know, amen, I just got to go through until I get to. Can you say amen? And then look at this. This is what Joshua is saying. Joshua is looking back over his life after all of the battles, after all of the storms, after everything that he's gone through. He looks back over his life. He's fought Eglon. He's fought the Philistine. He's fought this one. He's fought that one. And he's had many wars. He's gone through many battles. Amen. Many things have happened to him. But he looks back over his life. And here's what he says. He says in Joshua. Joshua 23 and 40, and behold, he said, this day, I am going the way of all the earth. Ye know in all your hearts, in all your souls, that not one thing hath failed of the good thing which the Lord your God spake concerning you. All are come to pass unto you. Not one hath failed. Oh, well, somebody ought to give God a praise. Amen. And tell somebody, not one promise has failed. Not one promise. God has never failed. Amen. I got to, because I'm going through some storms, I got to reset my mindset because what I go through can get inside of me. And what happens is I become this, uh, so discouraged until I can't see what God is doing. Oh, y'all, uh, hello, somebody. But God is saying, amen. I, and when Joshua looked back, he said, I will let you know that when I went through the battle, God was with me. When I went through the storm, God was with me. When I fought the Hittites, uh, when I fought the Jebusites, when I fought Eglon, when I fought all the kings, uh, amen, all the stuff in my life life. He said, I know that God brought me out and he was leaving a legacy. Amen. For those that are following him. He said, I want you to know that God has never failed. So we got to reset our mindset in spite of COVID-19, in spite of protests, in spite of black men dying, in spite of look like the church is not doing what it needs to do and not, folks are not coming. When I'm talking about the world, it's not coming to the church like we think they ought to come. But I won't let you know that God never failed. He said, not one of them, not one thing has failed, not one of them. Can you say amen? And so God, now in Joshua, amen, the first chapter, we read that. God, listen, wouldn't it be wonderful if he did to us what he did to Joshua? Joshua, amen, he, God brings Joshua to church by himself. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. Hello, somebody. He said, Joshua, I'm going to bring you to church by yourself. I, ain't nobody going to be in here but me and you. And I got to preach to you because something is getting ready to happen in your life that's wonderful. I'm getting ready to tell you something. And don't let nobody take this word away from you. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. Oh, come on, somebody. God is saying, I will be with you. And then what he says, be strong. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Amen. And what is that talking about? It's talking about your physical strength. But then he said, be what? Courageous. Somebody say courageous. Oh, say courageous to the one. Amen. And what courageous. Is Amen. Courageous. Okay. Your mental attitude. Your mindset. Come on, somebody. Amen. You got amen because they talk about mental toughness. If you play on a team, you got to be courageous. You got to have a mindset. You can't, 
to your mind. You can't let this get to your mind. You can't let this stop your mind. Amen. The only way the devil can stop you from going forward is getting with you on your mind. But listen tonight. Amen. God has a blessing with your name on it. Amen. What he has promised, he's going to do it. Amen. Those things that look like they dead, God's going to bring you out. Amen. Who told you that your dream died? Who My told God. Who? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. oh, I wish I had somebody. Somebody say reset. Reset your mind. Your mind. Hallelujah. Preach, Bishop. Your mind. Oh, God. Amen. Happen, but reset your mind. Amen. To, to bring it into alliance with God's mind. Amen. Not with your experiences, not with what you see. Amen. Because I don't believe what I see, but I see what I believe. Come on. Ooh. Have mercy now. Yes. Preach. Amen. In the heavens. I'm seeing something in mm -hmm. the spirit. I need to reset my mind. Have my God. Ooh, hallelujah. I don't walk according to my feelings, but I walk according to faith. <laughs> All right. Here is what he said. I, I'm going to let you read it. Go and read it if you want to. Joshua 3, 7, and 8. My God. My God. 3, 7, and 8 says that after he got through telling Joshua, I don't know how many times, he said, be courageous. Amen. Be strong. Strengthen yourself. Then he said, be courageous. Be strong. Strengthen yourself. Be courageous. Be strong. Strengthen yourself. Then he said, meditate on my word. Think about my word. Talk about my word. Walk about my word. Live about my word. Think about it. Sing about it. Keep on doing this. And Joshua, you're going to come out. Oh, Lord. Amen. Yeah. Because what the thing yeah. is, as I was with Moses, I will be with you. And then yeah. what he said, this is what I'm going to do, Joshua. I want you to know because I am God. Amen. I'm going to fix this thing up. Can you say amen? God's going to yeah. fix some stuff. Somebody say, God's going to fix some stuff. God's going to fix some God stuff. Fix yeah. some oh, stuff. Yes. Oh, I want you to know that when you break your bones and you reset them, amen, it's stronger in the broken place. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody ought to say, I'm stronger in the broken place. I'm stronger in the broken place. Yes, yes. I'm stronger. stronger. Yes. Yes. But it made me strong. Thank you, Jesus. I've been reset. <laughs> with a new mindset and he said joshua this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this i'm not gonna i'm not gonna take you out there by the jordan now because the jordan is too low the water is just a stream right now it's just floating down right now but i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait sometimes we don't understand why god got us in a place amen where we are amen why didn't you bring me out over there god no no he said i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait till the water gets higher i'm gonna wait until it mounts up i'm gonna wait until it's impossible for you to fit i'm gonna wait until it takes me to bring you out and what he says is and when i get to and it gets to the right place then I'm going to come and get you because I want to manifest you before the people I want to let them know that I am the God that's on your side yes yes <laughs> Glory to God. Well, somebody I'm giving praise and they say, oh, say I'm waiting till my enemies yes. get in the right place <laughs> oh yeah because the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. Amen. Until so God sees yes. the end oh from the beginning. God. Can you say amen? He begins, amen. He takes him out by the water. And what it says to me, if you look at the story, it says that if you're going to make it through your battle, amen, you got to take God with you. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Amen. They took the Ark of the Covenant. Amen. They took the Ark. If you're going to make it through your battle, you're going to make it through that wall. You're going to make it across that thing. Amen. You got to have God with you. Amen. And when they stepped in the water, oh, hallelujah, because God was on their side. The Bible yeah. said water begin to back up there's some yeah. stuff that's going to back up off of you there's some people that's going to back up off of you Can yeah you say 
because you're taking God with you. Amen. Reset your mindset. Can you say amen? I want you to know that amen, he had a few little obstacles. He had to go through the water. And then the Bible said that when he went to Jericho, there was another wall. Come on, somebody. Look like when you come out of one thing, there's something else over here. Can you say yeah. amen? But God said, I want to show myself strong. I want to show myself my and I want you to know that even with the Jericho wall, the, the Bible said, and, and they shut it up. They shut up the wall. Sometimes the enemy try to shut things out. I mean, he try to keep you out. He try to knock you down. But God said, I want you to do that. He said, my promise is on the other side of the wall of my problem. I got to get to my promise. I got to get through the wall. I got to go over the wall. Whatever I got, it's over there. My promise is over there. So I just got to make it through this. Oh, tell somebody, I got to make it through this. I got to make it through it. I got to make it through it. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Oh, God. The other side of the wall. Amen. I want you to know that the devil is not bad. Can you say amen? Because really, he wasn't bad. He was scared. <laughs> oh, y'all don't hear me. He was scared of what was in him. He was scared of what, because they had heard about it. God said, I will deliver you. I will bring you out. Yes. If I have to use a prostitute, yes. her name I'll is Rahab. I'm going to use her to bring yes, you out. I'll take an unsaved person and bless you with it. Oh, y'all over. Yes, Jesus. God. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God that Rahab said she had enough sense to know. Her. Said, we heard about you. We heard how you came out of Egypt. We heard how God divided the Red Sea. We heard that you were coming yes. to the desert. And I decided I know I'm a prostitute. I know yes. I have all kind of men, but some kind of way, even in the mm -hmm. midst of my mess, God revealed to me that he was with you all. And when you come into the city. She began to hide them. So they came and Rahab helped them. Can you say amen? She hid them amen, on the flats on top of the house. He said, listen, amen, what about my family? He said, y'all gonna be all right, as long as you don't tell my business. <laughs> oh, somebody yeah. ought to God will pray. Look at somebody say, tell my business. Yes, don't tell my business. <laughs> don't don't tell my business. Come on, business. As long as you keep your mouth, uh, amen, oh, off of me. Uh, you, know, you keep your, your mouth off of my business. He said, when I come back, uh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get your God. parents. I'm going to bring you out. Oh, tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes God want to manifest in our mm. life. Yeah. Amen. I'm just about finished. We're getting down to the end. And then he said, How do you tear down a wall? Yes. Look at somebody say, How do you tear down a wall? How do you tear down a wall? Come on, somebody. Uh, yes. you walls in your life. Say, Come How on. do you tear down a wall? How do you tear down the wall? Side of the wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. If we look at this scripture, we look at it because what happens is that praise brought the wall down. Amen. They didn't say nothing. Sometimes you ain't got to say nothing. They just mm -hmm. walked around the wall for yes. seven years on the last day. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yes. Amen. They had intelligence. They had strategy. They even had instruction. Amen. But then at the last, they had a praise. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Yes. Amen. God. I'm talking about reset your mindset. Can Lord you say I just want to tell you, amen, about my little TV. See, I got AT&T, and every now and then, the station get off track. Sometimes it won't come in. Just letters come up on the screen. And, and what I got to do is got to hit the reset button. Yes. Oh, y'all don't hear me? Somebody ought to reset. Can you say amen? And so... Amen. And sometimes I try the remote and the remote won't work. I mm -hmm. keep turning it on, turn it off with the remote. It won't work. But they told me in order to reset the thing, amen, mm -hmm. I got to go up there and hold yes. the power button down. And when I hold the power button down, yes. 
Ghost, and I release the power button. Amen. The yes. TV jumps back on, and after a while, everything that I need comes yes, back. Yes, Jesus. So I want to let you know I got ten things. Which they say hold it for ten seconds. Amen. And each one of these scriptures is a second. Amen. While I'm holding, you ought to mash your button right now. So I'm I'm resetting myself. Yes. In your in your house, amen. Right on your bed, right on your TV, right there yes. on, on your on your desktop, amen. He said, "I can do all things." Oh, uh, things uh, that strengthen. That's that's one second. He said, "No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper." That's two seconds. The mm. Lord is my life. Hallelujah. Salvation, uh, amen. I, and the Lord is the strength of my life. That's Preach, three. Bishop. Lift up your head, oh yes. Yeah. 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 And be lifted up, uh, your everlasting doors. Uh, that's four seconds. Uh, amen. They that wait on the Lord. Uh, he well, that's, that's five oh seconds. Dear. All things work together uh, for the good of them that love the Lord. Uh, yes. That's six seconds. Uh, amen. Let not your heart be so. Uh, you yes. believe. God, uh, believe also in me. Uh, that's seven seconds. Uh, say mm. in this mountain, believe that you have it and you shall have it. That's eight seconds. Uh, and yes. this is uh, the confidence, number nine, uh, that we have in him. Uh, that yes. he has anything according anything. to his will. We yes. have the petition which we desire of him. Uh, and yes. number ten, uh, even weeping may endure for a night, but mm. God oh. is coming. Yes. The Somebody yes. say, reset your mind. Reset, reset, reset your mind. mind. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. God. Yes. That, yes. All, uh, that screen that was blank, that stuff that I couldn't get to, amen. It pops up on the TV because I hit the reset button. All right. Oh, Glory uh, to God. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank Somebody you. ought to give God a praise. That's Hallelujah. Your, glory, glory to God. To glory. That's your reset button. Yes. yes. Get in trouble. You ought to have about 10 scriptures. Say, so I need about 10 seconds. We got somebody say, just give me 10 seconds. Give me just 10 give me 10, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Reset some things. Come yes. On. You ought to have to walk out in the room. I'm getting ready to reset some things. Yes. I, I know that's right. Do Question the button. I release it. Everything gonna be oh, oh, Lord God. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. Reset. 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 Your mindset. Your yeah. mindset. Oh, yeah. 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 Jesus. 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 Your mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Reset. Oh. Be renewed. Yes. Spirit of your mind. Of your mind. Yes. Mm. My God. Oh, come on, somebody. So look at this. I need a new mind. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. The place that I'm blocked right now. But Lord. I need a new mind. Yes, Be renewed Lord. Hallelujah. The spirit of your oh, Jesus. mind. I'm finished Jesus. tonight. My God. <laughs> I'm finished tonight. Oh. Revival. Yes. Revival. Somebody yes. say revival. revival. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know what you've been going through. As I thought about this service, I just thought about, God, what do the people need? And if you don't mind, just wherever you are, if you can lay your hands on your phone, touch your camera, whatever, just wave your hand. We're going to pray together. God is taking you to this place because he want to magnify you. That's what he told Joshua. I want to magnify you before the people. And I'm not talking about us and each other. Come on, somebody. I believe that he want to magnify us before the world. Yes. He want to let the world know that Amen. God still lives. Come on, somebody. Amen. They don't understand how in the world you making it out of this. They don't understand how you got a smile out of this. Because you've been reset. Somebody say reset. 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 <laughs> oh, come on, somebody. I, I got some new gas now. I've been my tank it. Is refilled now. Amen. Thank God. I go bought some gas the other day on Saturday, and I I went on the other side on the West Coast, Amen, and come back, and I done rolled up and down, went back to San, and I came back over here, Amen. But you know, when I looked at the thing, I said, you know what? I need some more gas now. <laughs> amen. We come tonight. God bless you. Reset your mindset. Amen. amen. Forget. Put y'all behind. I pray for the ball. 
of the high calling of God in Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come tonight. God, we come because you are God. And God, we know that you are our shepherd. You've already taken us. You've already been where we've got to go. You've come back to get us and to take us to where we go. You told us we're going to get there, but God, you didn't tell us how we're going to get there. You told us that you're going to bring us out, but you didn't tell us how, what we had to go through to come out. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. You said, God, don't be weary or faint in our minds in the name of Jesus. But God, be strong, be courageous, amen, amen, meditate on your word. Father, I pray now for all that are on this line, touch, I pray, God, that God, we will have a new mind with a new attitude, with new thoughts, that we won't be grouchy, that we won't be angry, that we won't be grumbling, but we will have joy in your presence that's full of glory. We give you the name, praise in Jesus' name. We pray tonight, if there's somebody here that God's on the line, they don't even know what we're talking about. God, they don't know you as their savior. Their life is all mixed up and stuff is going on everywhere. But God, I pray even right now, come into their life, reset their life. Well, you came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. We give you praise. We give you glory. We count this done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you don't mind unmuting your lines and let's give God a praise. Praise Hallelujah. 